Welcome back to the Knit Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to do a starter project and this is a great starting one for our series of learning how to knit for the very first time. So it's using Lily Sugar and Cream. It is a dishcloth so you're going to want cotton yarn which Lily Sugar and Cream is or you can use Bernat Handicrafter yarn as well in order to make it work. So we're just going to be able to do this uh, stitch. It's called the knit stitch and it's just back and forth and when you do the knit stitch back and forth it's referred to as the garter stitch. So the garter is is just like is the idea of a process. It's not a specific stitch but it's just using the knit stitch back and forth to give you the look. These make for terrific dishcloths and let's begin to work on this particular example. In today's example I'm using circular knitting needles but you can just use the regular knitting needles that don't have the cord. So this allows you to do a larger projects for like afghan work and a lot more when you use the cord because the stitches then go from the knitting needle and rest on the cord in holding when you're going to use these. So we're going to start off with our yarn today and we're going to create um, a slip knot to begin. So this is part of our starting series and let's uh, begin to do that. So we have slower tutorials available on learning how to do all of what you're seeing in today's tutorial and I'm gonna give you a brief run through. So we just did a slip knot there and we want to slip that onto the starting knitting needle just like this. So just slide it on and pull snug. So we're gonna do a cable cast on for this one. That's what they're demonstrating in the diagram and so we're gonna take the needle and we're going to insert it in behind inside this loop. Okay, so that the needle comes out from behind the other side. So only grabbing the strand going towards the string. Let this uh, straggler fall down and what I want to do is that I want to position this and get this ready to be able to knit. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take this yarn and I'm gonna wrap the back needle only just like that and I'm just gonna flick it forward and bring it out through the front. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm just going to place this on two my knitting needle like that. Okay and just slide it up. So now you have two loops on your knitting needles. So in this particular example that we have to get a certain amount of stitches in order to go across but let's uh, focus on this particular cast on first. So to, in order to keep casting on you have to insert the needle between the loops. So normally sometimes you can actually go into the next stitch itself but in this case I want you to go directly across right in between the two loops like that. Okay, this requires a little bit of practice and you're gonna wrap that back needle and you're just gonna apply a little bit of tension and you're going to bring it out through the, the, the front like that and then you're going to place that onto the knitted needle. I'll demonstrate this a few times and then just pull things a little snug but don't go too crazy with the tension. So your next one then is in between this next two right here. So just insert in, go directly across. Okay, so you're not appearing to go into any of the loops and I'm really tight for tension and I'm gonna wrap that back one again right so and I'm gonna bring that yarn through the two like that. So this is called the cable cast on like that. So okay, so you just keep moving down the chain until you get the number of stitches that you need in order to, to match that. So let me demonstrate again. So straight across. Again I'm a little tense. You'll have to get used to this one. It's, a, it's kind of a tough cast on in that sense but once you get used to it it's actually pretty good and then you bring it forward like this and then just slide it onto the knitting needle. So I'm gonna slide that one right back on and I'll try it again. So you know it, it's the beginning series so that will happen to you. You gotta just keep your hands on everything and using this finger back here you wanna stabilize it instead of just popping it off like I did before. So if you rush the process sometimes it's a lot harder. So I want you to continue to go across and do the cable cast on just like this and you will get used to it and your tension will then relax as well. So let's uh, continue along and let's move on to the next part. So you want to do a total of 38 of these loops for the dishcloth. I'm just gonna stop earlier because it doesn't matter how many I do because the concept is still the same. So I leave that to you in order to get your 38. If you wanna go 40 that's up to you. Uh, 38 is a good number. So what you wanna do is start off with the knit stitch. So you wanna stick the needle in to 
the first loop. So it crosses over into the back side. So if you look between them there's no yarn there and all you're just gonna do is take the other strand here. So you're doing this, uh, keep the strand on the other side. So if you are at this process here and the strand is coming up over the top you know that it's wrong. So you've gotta make sure that yarn on the first one you go is originating from the back of the project. So just wrap around the loop like so and just move it down, flick it forward there's the loop there and just carefully slide off that first one. Okay, so you're just gonna keep moving down. So just go into the next loop. See how I'm using this finger back here to stabilize that as I'm holding it into position so it doesn't just uh, run away on me. I wrap it and then I flick it forward like that and then I slide. And I keep going all the way down the row. This is called the knit stitch. So the term the garter stitch is just the knit stitch going back and forth on the rows. There's no fancy work. Okay, so you get the ridges that you see within the diagram or within the pattern that you see today on that we're, that we're working on. So you're just knit stitching all the way across. We have a tutorial on how to cast off which will be the same concept uh, to do this particular one as well. So you can look for that in, here on our YouTube channel because what we're gonna try to do is show you all the different little examples but give you some practice projects like this one in order for you to practice your skills. The only way you get better at knitting is to be able to try. So this is a great little starter project for making something that is useful for your home and then once you get down to all the way to the row just turn it around. Okay, so when you go to start again make sure the strand stays to the outside of the project. Okay, and you insert into the first one. So see how it's on the outside? and wrap again and continue to work your way all the way down the rows like that. So it's gonna tell you on the pattern how many to go as far as uh, it probably is gonna more likely give you a measurement instead of a row count and so you just grab your measuring tape and just when you're satisfied then with the length of it. Um, again everything is completely subjective to you. Um, this is a really great starter project in order for you to understand how to use the knitting needles, what exactly to look for and etc. So if you're looking to do a quick little dishcloth, um, this is a great little idea and until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Knit Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you again real soon.